in relation to Pre President Emmanuel Macron's decision to appoint a historian as education minister. And uh, this is a specialist in US history and minority issues. He's raised concerns he will try to impose a foreign vision on Macron's plans for education reforms in France. Has this happened? What do you think, Sajida? Has France gone woke? I don't think what I know of France, they're not particularly woke. They're not, are they? They're not particularly see, woke. They could do with being a bit more woken, woken is, if there's, what is this? The as, woke's not even a word. Why am I saying wokenism? So do you think, do you get... think there's a, a balance to be held? I mean, like, I think Macron, for instance, uh, he's been very clear about, we were talking earlier about the demolition of statues. He's saying, we're not going to do this to our cultural landscape. And I think that's a, that's a positive thing. But do you think they're quite intolerant of certain minority groups? And they I, they're do... very intolerant. There is so, a race yeah, issue yeah, in there France. Is. There is. I mean, a... um, there it's more with the, uh, African Arab uh, like communities and yeah, Moroccan yeah, yeah. Algerians and stuff, and because um, I've got family there, and I go there quite a lot. Um, and um, yeah, they're, they're, they're not they're not terribly tolerant. Uh, no, I think at that's all. right. The people I know in France tell me that actually you still hear racism just out in the open, which yeah. you don't hear. No, you know, and, that's, no. and it's an interesting. We do uh, passive aggressive here, which is much more British. That's very British. Yeah. Absolutely. What do you think, Josh? Yeah, I mean, in some ways, it's still a very segregated society, or more so, yeah. just because of the structure. Certainly, of like a place like Paris where on the outer cities of, of Paris, it arguably is still sort of somewhat ghettoized, and that's the way that, they, that they've that mm. they designed it. And and so it's not allowed necessarily the melting pot to exist. Yes. Uh, but the argument, what Macron's really done here, it's a political decision where um, there's, he's, there are some elections coming up in, uh, in, in this month, and he, the big uh, sort of counterpoint is a far-left politician. So this is to try and win back right. the left by uh, appointing this person. This person seems very qualified, uh, very, very intelligent. It's, it's sometimes good to get a historian on. I think people's problem is that because... Uh, he got trained in America. They're, they don't want to... That's what they really are in France. Yes. It's very anti-America, anti that kind of... It, the English language, we did a story on headliners where they're trying to sort of stop computer game words. Yes, I in English. Yeah. So, um, the, but uh, so there people are, I think, rightly so to be... Uh, to be wary of the imposing of American cultural identity politics onto France. Now, France has its problems, certainly with race and, uh, and racism, uh, but uh, that doesn't mean that the America's problems are the same as the problems well, in we, France. We get that here, you know, when, yeah. when you have people trying to impose critical race theory in schools here. Critical race theory is mm. so tied to the American history of slavery and Jim Crow, it's got nothing to do with Britain, and it doesn't work. It becomes incoherent. And so each country does need to have its, deal with its own issues in its own way, I would suggest. Yeah.